Hey guys, welcome to March. We're back. And we've got a lot of great topics for you guys this season. But first we're going to talk about Orcambi and our thoughts on Orcambi, Kaleidico, Simnico, CFTR modulators. We've gotten some questions about if we've tried them, if we've been on them, how were they, and just generally sort of what we think about them. So let's get to it. I got cystic fibrosis. See, I've got cystic fibrosis. So let's back up first. And for those that don't know what a CFTR modulator is, quickly, CFTR modulators help to cre correct, I cannot say that word tonight, correct the defective protein in the CFTR gene. So in many people with CF, uh, the, the gene, CFTR gene, either does not create a protein that allows it to get to the surface and activate, or it creates the protein, but when it gets to the surface, it does not activate or activates defectively, which can cause or disrupt the flow of water and chloride through the cell, which leads to thick, sticky mucus building up in your lungs and other parts of your body. So these drugs help to create, correct, see there it is again, correct the way that that protein performs in the CFTR gene. So with that said, Kaleidico is the first one that works for a small percentage of the population and it helps to activate the protein on the surface. So the protein gets to the surface but does not activate correctly, so it helps to activate it. Or Cambi and Simdico are the next two that came out of Kaleidico. Kaleidico is also known as Ivacaftor, or can be was the second one, which is Lumacaftor and Ivacaftor. It works for those people with a double Delta F508 mutation twice. Now Simdico works for double Delta F508, as well as uh, I think about 20 or 25 other single mutations. You can go to CFF's website and find out what that whole list is. I don't know them. Um, but how do I feel about these drugs? I think that these drugs are fantastic. I think these drugs are going to add many, many more years for those of us that can take them. Uh, Kaleidico has changed and altered many people's lives that have been on it. It allows young children who started at a very early age to expect to live deep into their 70s, hopefully 80s, who knows how long. Um, it helps to lessen the significant impact that bacteria growth can have in their lungs and exacerbations and then lung damage because that protein in that cell, that CFTR gene starts to function normally from the get-go for them. Uh, or can be I was on Orcambi for a phase three drug trial study and then for several months in an open label rollover uh, while it was waiting to get approved by the FDA. Um, I had severe chest tightness, which is a common side effect of Orcambi now. Uh, Orcambi also has side effects for in drug interaction and some other things. Um, so for me, Orcambi was not the tool that was going to work. Um, the chest tightness was just too much for me to handle, along with declining lung function at that time. About four years ago when I got really sick, it was just not a good pairing. So I stopped it and have not been on one since. I had been waiting and waiting for Simdico. Um, it was finally approved by the FDA about f four weeks ago or so. Um, I have been on it for about two months through the Early Access Program. And within the first month, my lung function went up 5% while fighting the head and chest cold. And I say that because for those of you who know what it's like trying to do a PFT with a chest cold or a head cold and the extra amount of mucus that you've already got in your lungs from that, my lung function normally when a situation like that would not have gone up or most likely it would have declined. Um, and being on Simdico, it went up 5%, which was huge for me. Uh, I think that I am excited for this drug. It has less of the side effects 
and chest tightness that our Cambi does. Is there is a triple pill that hopefully will be approved in the next, I think they say year and a half to two years by 2020. The early results of this triple pill, which is the one that's really exciting, are phenomenal. They show large improvements in lung function and in decreases in sweat chloride levels, as well as hopefully decreases in exacerbations as the cell starts to function normally. Um, so the downside, what is the downside of these drugs for me? Um, I think the downsides are that they're not for everyone uh, and they only work on certain gene, certain gene mutations, um, but they also cost a lot of money and they are not cheap and it's important to have access to them, right? Because what good is it if we get this far and have the, excuse me, have the drugs available and we can't take them? As national advocacy co-chair for the CF Foundation, I feel strongly that protecting our access to drugs like Orcambi and Kaleidico and Simico is vitally important. Um, without the ability to get these drugs, what good are they? Uh, without the ability to continue to take them, they don't do us any good. So it's really important to continue to protect the access that we have to affordable and adequate health care that covers the cost of these drugs. So you can go to the foundation's website and sign up to get um, advocacy alerts of when to get involved. So I would highly suggest you do that so that not only do those of us that have access to these drugs like CFTR modulators can continue to get them, but as we continue to advance in our research, that all of us eventually have access to these drugs and can keep them and continue to take them so that we can continue to leave these incredible full lives that we all need, all live now, but even longer. So thank you. Have a wonderful evening, a wonderful day, a wonderful rest of the week, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. All right. Take care. Thanks a lot. I got cystic fibrosis. See, I've got cystic fibrosis.